This video is brought to you by myvayteaching.com. Let us now try to understand how weather and climate are different. The scientists called meteorologists record the weather at various places every day. The records of the weather over the past several decades have been preserved. Now, these records help the meteorologists to determine the weather pattern at a place. The average weather pattern at a place taken over a long period of time, say 25 years, is called the climate of that place. For example, if the temperature at a particular place is high, we can say that the place has hot weather and also if it has high temperature plus rainfall on most of the days at, then we can say that the climate of the place is hot and wet or we can say hot and humid There are four major types of climates, the polar climate, temperate climate, tropical climate and the desert climate. Polar climate is actually the climate which is very cold and which we see near the poles or which we record near the poles. In the picture you can see the south pole. And we have the Arctic Circle here which is at the North Pole of the Earth. Both these are very cold and dry. In fact, the air is so cold in polar regions of the Earth that water falls there as snow. So the air contains very little water vapors at the poles. So now you must have understood that why is polar climate so cold? And why it is dry? Because water is falling as snow and so there is no water vapors in the air. Temperate climate A climate which is neither very hot in summers and not very cold in winters is called a temperate climate. In temperate climate there is moderate amount of rain and snowfall. Next we come to tropical climate. We say that a climate having very high temperatures and high humidity is called tropical climate. Thus a tropical climate is very hot and humid and there is usually a lot of rain in the tropical climate. Now let us talk about the desert climate. Desert climate is very hot during the day and there is very little rain in the desert area. So the desert climate is also dry like the polar climate which is also very dry. Now question arises that why is climate different in different places or why the climate is different at different places around the world. Answer to this is that our climate depends on our position on the earth and our distance from the sun. So these two things will help us identify the type of climate that a particular place has. Let us try to understand more about the position of the earth and the distance from the sun. Now you can see this equator here, this line. We say that equator of the earth is at the minimum distance from the sun. So equator is at minimum distance from the sun. 
what will happen if it is at a minimum distance from the sun so this should have the most heated part of the earth's surface hence we see that the region around the equator which is also called the tropical region gets the maximum heat from the sun and have a very hot climate as the region gets more and more away from the equator that means towards the pole what happens is that the sun's heat received by the region goes on decreasing so as we go away from equator on both sides towards the pole the region receives less heat as compared to the equator and leading to gradually cooler climate in that regards our poles that means the arctic circle and the antarctic circle are farthest from the sun or the poles of the earth are at the maximum distance from the sun due to this the sun's rays have to travel much more to reach the polar region of earth which makes them lose much of their heat and hence the polar region of the earth that is near the north pole and south pole of the earth receive the minimum amount of sun's heat so the polar regions of the earth have an extremely cold climate so we have understood that at the tropical region which is actually the equator climate is extremely hot while at the poles it is extremely cold hence the tropical region and the polar region are the two regions of the earth which have extreme climatic conditions